तो आम मेट्रिक्स विभिन्न प्रकार विषय आलोचना कर लो इतना मेट्रिक्स विभिन्न अपारेशन विषय आलोचना करो इते मुठते तीन अपारेशन आज एडिशन एंड सबसट्रेक्शन अफ टू मेट्रिक्स एंड माल्टिप्लिकेशन अफ ए टू मेट्रिक्स सो आम इतना अपारेशन अन मेट्रिक्स विषय आलोचना कर तो बेसिक ऑपरेशन ऑन मैट्रिसेस आर पास एडिशन सब्सट्रैक्शन ऑफ टू मैट्रिसेस नम्बर टू माल्टिप्लिकेशन अफ ए मेट्रिक्स बै स्कलार नम्बर थ्री आम आलोचना कर माल्टिप्लिकेशन अफ अफ टू मेट्रिक्स बेसिक अपारेशन अन मेट्रिक्स कौन एडिशन सबसट्रेक्शन अफ टू मेट्रिक्स माल्टिप्लिकेशन अफ मेट्रिक्स बै स्कलार एंड माल्टिप्लिकेशन अफ टू मेट्रिक्स इतना के आलोचना कर फार्ष्ट आम आलोचना कर एडिशन अफ एंड सबसट्रेक्शन अफ टू मेट्रिक्स सो जो आम दो मेट्रिक्स धो लो एन इफ ए एन वि टू मेट्रेसिस अफ सेम अर्डार जो आम दो मेट्रिक्स सेम अर्डार दो मेट्रिक्स धरो देन देर साम is denoted by a plus b so matrix dutar sum of a plus b is again a is again a matrix of same order is again a matrix of same order of 10 by adding the corresponding elements corresponding elements of a, elements of a and b thik tane ke ami similarly subtraction total matrix of subtraction a minus b is define has a minus b ami define koriyo paro eneke a minus b equal, equal to a plus minus 1 bracket b so eto ami subtraction pam so dota matrix or ami addition is denoted by a plus b of the n is obtained by adding the corresponding elements of a and b a subtraction is denoted by a minus b और ये तो आम डिफाइन कर माइनास वि इकुअल टू ए प्लास ब्रेकेट माइनास वन इंटू वि इतना आम दूटा उदाहरण लम जी उदाहरण द्वारा आम दो मेट्रिक्स एडिशन और सबसट्रेक्शन तो आम भल डिफाइन कर धरा हल आम दो मेट्रिक्स आम धरी सेम अर्डार ओवान टू माइनास वन थ्री टू वान Two into three, and B so two matrix. I mean, do you know A and B 
of the same order 2 by 3 so I mean the addition addition to I mean define goro a plus b From a to the matrix addition, I mean, can you keep on of 10 by adding corresponding elements of a and b? And I mean, 1 plus 4 8, eight coilo 2 plus 2 minus 1 plus 4 3 plus 2 2 plus 3 1 plus 6. So I mean, corresponding elements for 8 coilo, it am is it to result from so here result to have. 5, 4, 3, 3 plus 2, 5, 5, 7. So, A matrix to come addition of A and B will come. Or A matrix to order to come 2 by 3. So, now we find subtraction of A and B. Subtraction A minus B. So A minus B. So A is one, two, minus one, three, two, one, minus four, two, four, two, three, six. So now we get subtracting corresponding elements of a and b so 1 minus 4 is minus 3 2 minus 2 0 minus 1 minus 4 minus 5 3 minus 2 1 2 minus 3 minus 1 1 minus 3 minus 5 so this is the subtraction of a and b so this matrix also ordered 2 by 3 so here we should have operation alasana kore multiplication of a matrix by a scalar. Multiplication of a matrix by a scalar. So we have a matrix amak gya se a So, I mean, we a matrix A of order 2 by 3. So, A matrix to the diameter is scalar. So, I mean, it is scalar lolo K. So, K is a scalar. K is the diameter matrix to multiply. Karo. So, now I mean, result to pump K A, K B, K C. K D K E K F. So I mean, atom matrix so scalar multiply ko ille. I mean, kote kita elementary he scalar toy multiply ko ille bolibo. Jodi atom matrix A hoy, I mean jodi K multiply ko ro, to result to abo. Ito K A K B K C K D K E K F. So A matrix to order abo two by three. So next, I will show you the multiplication of two matrices. So a matrix A is said to be conformable for multiplication with a matrix B if the number of columns 
of a is equal to the number of row of b so at a matrix I mean b log out multiply kore parem conformable for matrix zodi number of columns of a is equal to the number of row of b so a sort of to zodi thake the bottom matrix or number of column is equal to the number of row of second matrix that is i mean data matrix i mean multiply kore paro a equal to a11 a12 a21 a22 a31 a32 so a matrix to ami order hobo order pam 3 by 2 and b b11 b12 b21 b22 so order 2 by 2 so I mean matrix A we can multiply with matrix B because here number of column is 2 and number of row of B is 2 so here condition is satisfied number of column of A is equal to the number of row of B so we can multiply A and B so now we get A B So A B we get first we multiply this row with this column. So we get A11 B11 plus A12 B21. Next we multiply this row with this column. So we get A11 B12 A plus A12 B22. So next with this row we multiply this column. So A21 B11 plus A22 B21 A21 B12 plus A22 B22. So last row will be multiply this row with this column a31 b11 a32 b21 <coughs> so last element will be multiply this row with this column so we get a32 b12 plus a32 b22 so this is the multiplication of these two matrix a and b so we get a b so uh, order of this matrix will be 3 by 2 so this way we can multiply two matrix if there uh, there is a condition that should be satisfied that condition is number of column of a is equal to the number of row of b so now we discuss transpose of a matrix so transpose of a matrix is the obtained by interchanging rows and columns of a and it is denoted by a dash and for example if we consider a matrix a equal to 205 one two four and order of this matrix is two by three and transpose of this matrix is obtained by interchanging row and columns of this so after interchanging row and columns we get these columns this row becomes column two zero five and this row becomes column we get this so order of this matrix will be 3 by 2 so this is called transpose of this matrix 
So now we discuss uh, pop some properties of transpose of a matrix. So number one properties if A is a matrix then we get transpose of a transpose is the matrix A original matrix A. If we take two transpo transpose of a matrix then we get the original matrix. Then if A is a matrix of order m by n and k is a scalar then we get k a whole transpose equal to k into a transpose so next properties if a and b are two matrices then two matrices of same order then A plus B whole transpose equal to A transpose plus B transpose So next number four if A and B are two matrices conformable for multiplication then we get a b whole transpose equal to b transpose into a transpose so these are the four properties of a transpose of a matrix so last we define two important matrix so these two matrix are symmetric matrix symmetric matrix and square symmetric matrix so first we define symmetric matrix so a square matrix a is said to be symmetric if a transpose equal to a So a square matrix A is said to be symmetric if we take a transpose of a matrix we get the same matrix. So for example suppose A is a matrix elements are 6, 3, minus 6, 9, minus 6, 8, 5, 9, 5, 2. So if we take transpose of this matrix 3 minus 6 9 minus 6 8 5 9 5 2 so we get same matrix A. So this is the same. So this is called a symmetric matrix. So next we define square symmetric matrix. A square symmetric matrix so next we define a square symmetric matrix a square matrix a is said to be a square symmetric if a transpose equal to minus a for example if we take a matrix a so elements are 0 3, 2 3 minus 2 0 4 minus 3 minus 4 0 so we if we take transpose we get 
zero two three minus two zero four minus three minus four zero. So this is a square symmetric matrix because if we take here minus common, then we get So this is the matrix E minus E. So therefore A transpose equal to minus E. So therefore this matrix is a squeeze symmetric matrix. So today class we discuss uh, unit 5 of course 1 classical uh, classical algebra and trigonometry. So unit 5 is matrices. Here we discuss uh, about matrices. First we define what is matrix, then we discuss there are different types of matrix, then we get three basic operation on matrix. So that operation are uh, addition and subtraction of two matrices, multiplication of a matrix by a scalar and multiplication of two matrices. And last we discuss transpose of a matrix and their properties and here we uh, define two important matrix symmetric matrix and squeeze symmetrix so this is the all about this uh, unit 5 matrices so there are also there are some more points so we'll discuss these points in next class okay thank you